Word. There was some disrespect last week with my co-host Bill Matz mm. about uh, Tim Lincecum. I don't know how you feel about Tim Lincecum, but I feel the world of Tim Lincecum. So, because uh, to me, he's one of the, at his height, he was one of the best pitchers of the last 20 yeah. years. It's my You opinion. said at his height. I'm kidding. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, see, I know he's short. See, look. Uh, uh, wah, 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 com- comedian over here. See, com- this ride over all here. types, all types of disrespect for my man, right? <laughs> so let me ask, would you rather? Would you rather have Tim Lincecum's career or Jamie Moyer's career? One career oh. short with championships, with several championships, but you were, and again, neither one's getting into the Hall of Fame. Tim, I think, has a chance, but probably didn't play long enough. But one guy was the guy. One guy was Mr. Cy Young. But the other guy got to have a 25-year solid, solid career, right? He got to really experience the length of baseball and still win a chip. Which one would you pick? Give me Jamie Moyer, right? The guy's fastball didn't get over the speed limit. But guess what? It worked for 25 years. And, and here's the other thing about it. Lincecum was such a violent thrower that while putting everything into it, it took everything out of him. Jamie Moyer is kind of like how I would want to treat work. I come in, I eat a sandwich, I say, hello, <laughs> fellas. Do I really warm up? You can't tell. You know, I get on the mound. It looks like I'm warming up. And then there you go. I've given you your innings. And, and then I go bowl a 295 with that same arm that I didn't throw a fastball more than 74. So give me, in fact, Jamie Moyer probably right now just pitched a complete game of wiffle ball and his arm still doesn't hurt. So give me Jamie Moyer because the longevity plus as a lefty, those become very, very valuable against some other players. And you're not expecting to see, you know, soft cheese all the time. You're not expecting to see melted Volvita coming to the plate. See, I, I, I'm a selfish individual. I'm be honest with you. I'm picking Tim Lincecum because. I just want to know, I was, at one point in my life, I was better at every, I was better at this one thing than anybody else was. Like, I want to have that experience of, I'm better than you. You can say what you want about your career. You can say what you want about how long my career lasted. But one thing you're not going to say is, you were better than me. I want, and again, this sounds, this sounds like really like egomaniac a little bit, but I want to be able to say, I was better than you. I was better than all of you. At what I do, and none of you could have ever touched me, at least in that three-year span. I want that. I want to experience that elite greatness, even if it's a short amount of time. Sean, I, at one time, I, I presume you're a single man, uh, or I'm not married. married. I'm, I'm married, married sir. You're married. So okay. So then you know where I'm going with this. This doesn't apply to me now, but back in my dating days, I didn't care if just one person liked me. I liked it if a few people thought I was pretty cool. I could entertain my time over here. I didn't have to expend so much energy just on one. Now, once you get married, that's what you have to do. But guess what? When you're married, you don't always have to bring the fastball. So Jamie Moore is that guy that's just kind of very casual, hang out with. So what if all these other guys can throw faster than me? Guess what? You can't cash a Cy Young Award, okay? You can cash this check over here, though. So as long as my services are available for you for 25 years, there will be a bank that will be willing to deposit and put that stamp on the back. That's the same thing, man. As long as you got that personality in the dating world, somebody's always going to say, you know what? It doesn't matter whether you're 20 or 60. Somebody's going to be interested, not somebody who's just going fastball all the time. See, I'm going to counter with another relationship equivalent. Okay. Here's what I say this is more like, right? Because we, unlike our marriages, I don't plan for it to ever to end. But if you know it's going to end, I would rather have five years with Beyonce or five years with Janet Jackson than 25 years, I don't want to play anybody out, but with somebody who's of a lesser height. Right, I'd rather have that five years with Janet or that five years with Beyonce than 25 years or 20 years of, you know, said said hey, individual me- who I find to be a five out of 10. No, no, Sean. Give me the 25 years with B. Arthur, okay? Who cares? <laughs> See, I was trying not to give names, have- okay? No, here's the B. thing. Arthur. Because here's the thing. There is so much experience over those 25 years then the potential five years of headache you may have to go through 
trying to feel like you're the best. Well, six years in, they're making songs about you kick to the left. B author's going to be like, you know what? I've set you up with a trust fund. You're good for the rest of your life. Wait, Look, hey, you're hey, shaping you, my game. But you yeah, broke up with consistency. B. Huh? You and B Arthur yeah. are broken up also, though. So it doesn't matter. You broke up with both years. of them. Do you know, do you know if, if she left me, say, stock in Apple that she bought in like 78, how good I would be feeling? That's the point. Longevity, I would always take over the, the fly-by-night excitement. Look at Kim Kardashian and her wake, okay? Hey, but if I was Beyonce, I get to tell my boys I was with Beyonce, and I'm going to get high-level women but they would because I was with Beyonce. With anymore. But you, they would tell you that you're not with her anymore. Yes, That's but the whole point. just because I was with Beyonce, more women would want me because they're going to like, why did Beyonce get with him? Them B. Arthur checks still cash. That's okay. what I'm saying. Okay. They still get Golden Girls residual money would be coming <laughs> right at my front door. Okay.